Good morning YouTube, this is Tinka. I have a new video on a purse that I would like to discuss. Um, this purse I just won on eBay. I'm really excited about having it since I won it. Um, I got it at a very good price. Um, it's going to be new to a lot of people but reintroduced to um, other people who already know about this brand. I'm going to reveal her now. Um, this purse is a Rioni Moda Italia. This is their large Boston bag. Um, I'm trying to sit in the sunlight so you can see all the details upon her. There's a back zipper pocket and on either side they have these flip pockets that are magnetized and lined in suede. Okay, and it flaps right down for secureness. So you don't have to fumble with that. This is the front. Um, the handles are very, very, very well done. Very pretty bag. It's, it's almost like a cream color. Um, it's coming off pretty true to color on my phone, so I don't know how to look for other people. These are the handles. Um, I'm really impressed with the, the stitching on these handles. Um... You know, that's really pretty impressive. Um, very nicely done. Everything moves like a dream. Um, I won this on eBay. I did not receive the dust um, cover for the bag, but it would have come with a black, um, looks like a non-woven material um, tote bag rather than the drawstring bag. Um, so I've been using this pillowcase like I do for a lot of my purses. I'll use an old pillowcase. So let's just get in. Um, comparing this to the Speedy, if you have a Speedy, um, this bag would be probably the size of between a 30 and a 35. Um, that is the, the dimensions for this bag. So I guess, um, it would be somewhere around like a 32 and a half, uh, something like that. So that's that. Um, the, like I said, if you can see, these pockets on the side are very large. I can get my my whole hand in here. Um, it is recommended if you have, this is a completely side note, if you have a, a small stature at the Louis Vuitton store that you choose the small 25 instead of the 30 or 35. Um, I am short. I'm four foot nine, but I do intend to carry this bag because I generally call, um, carry a bag that is basically a large tote bag most of the time. That's pretty much what I carry. I don't have very many handbags. I call these handbags if you most of the time have to carry it in your hand. So this will really primarily be the first one that I owe and due to the color of it. And I wouldn't want um, a lot of... Um, transfer like from certain uh, materials denim for sure I wouldn't carry this a whole lot but you know as the fall comes here um, with leggings and a sweater this is perfect and I have boots about this color so that'll be perfect so let me get right into the inside I don't want to hold everybody up on my own one handedly oh jeez try to get this paper out. Um, you'll also see as opposed to the speedy, the zipper extends all the way over to the side. It doesn't have two zippers. I think some of the speedies have two zippers where it can kiss in the front. This one does not have that. Um, I don't know what year these were made, but this has your um, basic, um, it has a lovely satin. The satin is actually quite thick on the inside. It's not real thin and tissue -y, but it has a slip pocket and like a little pocket here that has a little um, elastic on it and then on the inside it has another long zipper pocket it goes quite a bit across and you know so you have tons of places to organize this purse if you did not want to use some kind of inside purse organizer I haven't been able to find I have two but they're basically probably more for one is for a tote bag and one is maybe for um, a smaller bag about the size of a Speedy. This also came with the strap. Um, I spent, um, in, including shipping and everything, um, 
maybe thirty six dollars um, for the bag to get here and so the the straps is I hope is coming up I want it to focus so I can see maybe I can get back a little further but these straps is, is wonderful I want to see if if the straps are matching the the handle because I do believe this is the kind of leather that will um, oxidize but I'm not 100% sure because it's not a lot of information out there regarding um, this on their website um, so that's pretty much the bag um, I like that it has the plastic or nylon rather um, zipper as opposed to the brass which would be on your LV um, speedies because that brass oxidizes it makes a horrible smell and then over time once it begins to um, patina it doesn't look so nice it no longer to me looks like you know it's that great so I'm trying to find an angle so I can get my right hand here we go so if I don't get this zip it's not a big deal so yeah so this is the bag um, like I said I, I, I totally am interested in carrying it I didn't show the feet on the bottom this is you know leather to kind of um, protect your edges and also feet on the bottom so you could um, in good faith sit this down somewhere I don't really sit my bag down anywhere questionable um, most of the time to be honest with you I'll just leave a set on my lap um, you probably could carry this you know with one strap that kind of style but most of the time I'll do it like this it did not come with um, a little thingy that holds this together I'm not sure if this one does or not but it seems like I saw that somewhere so this is my new Rioni um, bag Moda Italia um, this bag is very comparable to I think the LV bag and it's absolutely gorgeous inside it actually has more bells and whistles t than the um, the LV bag um, you can find this bag at Overstock Com and of course the website and it's the large Boston bag. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for um, coming to my channel and checking out these purse reviews and going with this journey with me on um, purchasing new purses. Thank you. Bye bye.